What's up guys, Axis here bringing you all another tutorial on these wires that were used in my Saw PC intro. Uh, I just released it a week ago, but if you have not seen it, I'll be showing you the effect that we're going to be creating and this is just the intro preview. So yeah, we're just going to be messing about with this effect. Uh, I mean these kind of wires here and also how to um, make the wires go into your logo uh, with this kind of like bezel by using bulls and stuff like that in Cinema 4D so I'm just going to open up my saw Lightroom which I'll leave a link to in the description and then we're just going to grab we're just going to grab a cylinder and what we're going to want to do is kind of create a circle around this cylinder. So I'm just going to put down the uh, radius. I'm going to duplicate this by doing Control C, Control V. Move this one out. Control. Uh, basically, just duplicate these all in kind of like a star pattern. Well, not a star pattern. Pattern. <laughs> pattern around this middle one. Uh, and then we'll just add in some kind of extra filler ones as well. Basically, the randomer. Uh, well, basically just making this look random looks the best, in my opinion, obviously. Um, so just move these around, just duplicating them. And it's looking alright. It's more, not really a cylinder or a circle anymore, but it's more like a, a square. So now we're just going to go through these four. Obviously you're going to want to move these in the center just to make them look more tightly packed so I'm being kind of quiet at the moment I'm just trying to get through all these cylinders I've made uh, we'll make that one bigger move that out so obviously it's not really you don't really have to do anything to make it look amazing, you just have to randomize it. Uh, and then what we're going to want to do is select all of these, do Alt and G to group them, and we'll just call them uh, cylinders. And then in here, I'm going to go in and select all of them once again, bump up the height segments, so that means that the uh, segments will actually be able to be twisted, which is what we're going for here. And then I'm going to go ahead again and group this. So inside of this null, there's an, the cylinder one that we just created. Go into the deformers, and we're going to go to twist. Drag this in, make it a child of the null. And then we're just going to kind of... Uh, I just want to test to see what... Yep, that's the right direction. So actually we need to make these a lot longer first off. So you obviously can choose your uh, height. So I'm just going to choose that height, go back into the twist and then move up the Y so it covers the whole object and then we can just mess about with the angle until we get something we like. Um, that's alright but I really don't... I'm in fix. Oh it's pretty good. It kind of looks like kind of thicker wires but again you can make it look however you uh, want. So, which is kind of great about this effect because you can just randomize any sizes of them and they look really nice. So uh, now that we've got that, uh, I'm just going to get like a text layer. You can obviously grab your AI file, or whatever. I'm just going to use one letter, like A. And then I'm going to go and get kind of a thick typeface. So um, let's just look for one here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to bump up the depth to 100. Might actually need to be more. This is a problem about making thicker uh, wires. They won't actually look that good when you put them into the um, objects. So I might want to more tightly pack these. Trying to do this a bit quicker. Uh, 
if it's kind of getting annoying having the twist effect on when you're doing this, you can just uncheck this and then it will make it back into the uh, normal state. And then when you uncheck it, well, I mean, when you check it once again, it will go back to um, being twisted. Just a little tip. Right, okay, so that's looking pretty good. And now we're going to create the hole that we're going to need to put through this A. So I'm just going to do some little text settings. Go into your caps, go to start, fill it cap, and fill it cap. Switch your radiuses to one centimeter. And now we're going to go and alt click on the uh, Motex, go to bool. And once we've got that, now we're going to create our little bezel that we want to have here. So, let's go and grab a cylinder. I'm just going to hide this at the moment, This uh, the wires, just so they're out of the way. And I'm going to move this up on top of here, just so we get an idea of what kind of shape and uh, radius that we're wanting. Uh, so that's looking alright. And then go into your object again and grab a... Uh, where is it? There we go. Taurus. And now we're just going to scale this down and then change the uh, pipe radius to make it quite thin. And then just to make sure that it's centered around this uh, cylinder, I'm just going to copy all these coordinates by just controlling uh, control M and C on it. And then once we paste them back into the Taurus coordinates, you'll see that they're actually on here now which is great, and now we'll just move this down to the bottom so it's kind of just intersecting through the um, object that you want and now that we've got that we're going to want to drag our cylinder you might want to keep a copy of this as well, I'll just do it for the tutorial purpose so I'm going to do uh, uh, I'm going to control uh, I'm going to duplicate these, sorry for stuttering a lot and then I'm going to once these are selected, make sure you do Alt G to group these, and we'll just call this uh, backup. And then I'm going to hide these. Grab the original, well, the first cylinder you made, and drag that underneath the text. And now you can see that we have actually made a hole through this. But we might actually want to move this a bit to the. We'll try and center it as well as I can move um, and then I'm gonna move the cylinder up so it's not um, as you can see if you just move it about you can kinda see what it's actually gonna do so this kinda sucks because the object has a bunch of holes in it here which are gonna show through um, but I'm just gonna try and ignore that obviously you're gonna want to perfect this if you're doing like a RC or whatever you want doing so yeah looks a bit weird actually but, uh, just for tutorial purposes, I'm just going to ignore that, pretend like it's not there, and then I'm going to go and grab the uh, cylinder, and then make it visible again. Uh, I mean, all the pipes. And I'm going to try and center this uh, on the hole here. And now we kind of look like we have a little spiral of wires coming at the top of here you're actually going underneath here because the A has a hole in it, unfortunately. Uh, and I'm going to go into the front view by using this little thing here, page down I think. If I, I might not be correct, but I think that makes it so that you can see um, all the different views. So I'm going to just adjust front view and side view as well. Oh, no. On the Z axis, that's for side view. Just to try and make sure it's centered on each perspective, so it looks really good when you've got some close-up cameras. Uh, and I'm going to be tr troubleshooting some of these problems, like when uh, this object comes through here. So this is uh, not an amazing, like, oh god. <laughs> uh, I'm probably just going to try and scale this down, I don't know if I can be able to fix this um, so I'm just gonna try and do this as well as I can without wasting too much time uh, yeah that's pr like pretty good there okay and uh, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the bend to this object so let's just go and grab another deformer from our deform section, bend 
drag the bend into the uh, null object containing the twist and cylinder try and sense this as well as you can and then I'm just going to, just for reference, I'm just going to adjust the strength just to see where it's actually going to bend yeah, this is looking horrible at the moment if you do fit to parent you can kind of get a idea of where to actually do the bend might use a scale tool to uh, bring this down so I can make the bend a bit more sudden. I think why this is um, going all weird is because you need to put the twist and the cylinder together so I'm going to just select both of those, do Alt-G and there we have it that's that's the bend now and if I just move that into the kind of middle adjust the strength and now you can bend this wherever you want and then also change the, thing. the angle will kind of make it do like a helicopter thing <laughs> yeah so this is how you can adjust the angle and yeah also doing uh, keep y-axis length normally fixes any kind of weird uh, weird looking bends so for a kind of a final thing that we can add to this is we can grab a glow object which is pretty easy to make I'll just make one uh, even though there's one included in here just for all you guys that aren't really uh, are quite new to Cinema 4D so I'm just going to make a new uh, let's go a blue kind of a cyan colour, go into colour, make it cyan, go into luminance, check that, move the brightness down to about 12 we can add some reflection but not much I'll go 3, maybe add some blurriness just because we can um, if this is slowing down your render or you're getting slow render times obviously put it on 0 and let's just add some random stuff like the displacement go to texture, noise and then I'm going to move the strength down quite low so it's just kind of like a little bump thing just to add some texture to it uh, in fact I'm going to go back into the displacement and click on sub poly displacement so you can actually see the displacement but if this is looking a bit weird we can go back and change it so um, let's go into the cylinder again and we're just going to grab a... let's just make it a black for now put a black on the cylinder and this is going to make all the wires black but if we um, if we grab our kind of glow object which I've not actually added glow to so it's not really a useful glow object I'm going to make the uh, inner and outer strength at 70 and then we can drag this onto any one of our cylinders and it will actually overwrite the uh, the black material make sure you don't overuse the blues or I mean any of the glow materials because it just looks a bit uh, just doesn't look that good to be honest so I'm going to probably add it to one of the thinner cylinders like number 8 in my case and if we go ahead and render this I don't know if I've got it in a good place in the Lightroom but it's looking pretty good from here Um, so yeah it's looking pretty good obviously once you've kind of got the technique down it's not really hard to create a bunch of these add them to your uh, layers and your, well I mean your different logos and we can actually see the displacement which is kind of looking a bit weird but I mean I'll keep it just because it's I don't know makes it look more wiry you can also do this to the black object here Um also I didn't include how to create a black object but from this kind of brief tutorial on how to make a blue one hopefully we'll be able to make a black one pretty easily and just for a finishing touch, um, you can even like add a kind of realistic touch here because the wires are all contained together. You may want to even add some tape. Uh, this is actually a really cool method, uh, and you can obviously use this for a lot of other things. So I'm not going to use a tube. Uh, I'm going to go and grab another cylinder. So many cylinders in this tutorial. Go to caps, uncheck caps, and now we can see we have a completely. Um, just we just have the uh, kind of fillet of an object now and now if we go and place this kind of in around the the tube not tube wires and I'm just gonna move this up on the Y try and match this to wherever you want the wire the um, tape to be and then I'm going to just go into object and adjust the height and then we'll adjust the uh, radius later. This obviously is looking really ugly and unrealistic. 
something like that. Just try and line it up as best as you can. Go and grab a new... Where is it? Collision. I think it's called a Collision something in R14 and below. So just go and grab another deformer collision. Put it inside, or as a child, as the cylinder. Go into the colliders, and now we're going to go and select our uh, tube or wire. So, there we go. That's looking good. Uh, well, obviously you can't see anything now, but make sure the collider is inside here. You can also drag it inside. Make sure it's in colliders and not includes. They have the same menus. I got confused one time when I was doing this. I was like, oh, why is it not doing anything? And now what you want to do is, because it's not actually doing anything right now, you go into your cylinder, go to radius, and drag this down. And as you can see, it's going to start to wrap around this wire. Not very well currently, because there's not many height segments. So, obviously, the more you boost this, the more render times are going to go up. And sometimes I have this little thing where it tears through it. So, I'm also going to decrease the height. You're going to want to try and center this as best as you can on the wire. Like that. And then I'm going to go and grab a... Uh, I did use a, I did try and use a matte black on this, but I, d I just didn't like it. Um, if you can get the matte object to work for you, then it'll look really great. But I'm just going to use a kind of metallic -y silver uh, black on this one. You leave that at the white if you wanted to stand out more. But as you can see, it looks really realistic as the um, kind of the tape is actually wrapping around all the wires and making it look like it's held together or at least assisted by this. So you can just duplicate this, add it anywhere. Um, also, this if you can come up with some cool ideas with this, it'd look amazing. Uh, I don't know, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head of what you could actually do with this, but it's a pretty cool effect. And it's uh, quite useful if you want to do some realistic stuff. So uh, that's enough of me rambling. Uh, thanks for watching the tutorial, and I'll probably see you guys in the next tutorial. Remember to comment and like, share some of your um, kind of intros and creations with this. You can use it for backgrounds or whatever. And I'll see you guys next time.